and welcome to the Moon in Leo reading. We are in a time of opposites uniting and we really need this energy right now. We really need, rather than to separate ourselves even more and fall lower vibrational, we need opposites to unite, to see the whole, find balance, heal, harmonize, and raise the vibes. Thank you guys for joining me to do just that. As well as we are also in a time, my little man needed me. Let's get back here. We're also in a time of closing out the zodiac year and ushering in a new zodiac year in the energy of Aries. And that's going to be connected to doing some more freeing of the child. And that's connected to grounding more of our light, more of our soul here to birth it. Let's see what's happening. And the moon, little mini moon has joined us here to help us shed some light on our transformations and the energies we're joining. Ooh. And here you are seeing through your illusions in the seven of cups. And this has to do with what's being illuminated for you. How you're seeing through your visions and they're showing me this is connected to the snake and this beetle. And the beetle is connected to all this gold in the cup. I'm, and the gold is connected to this tree of life. That's what they're showing me, how this pattern goes for you. Mm, so there's something being activated in, for, in here for you. It's like a path. It's like, and from this tree, then you go to the angel wings. And from the angel wings, you go to the keys. And from the keys, you go to the shell that's in the cup. So it's like they're showing me a whole pathway that you're taking in order to see through all of your illusions of what's in the cup. It's never happened to me before. That was really cool. Okie dokie. This card landed right on the Seven of Cups, and it's the Palace of Coins, and this is the place that you're expanding. This is the Palace of Coins is like the ultimate pentacles energy space that is created. This is a place full of Mother Earth, life, abundance. That music was throwing me off was interrupting my channeling. So you've made connections here now because you saw through your illusions of what you needed to see and you made connections and you're using your wisdom. You know, also youthful energies as well as our mature energies, the energy of the child as well as our experience are coming together within this place and it's helping you to manifest. That's where your opposite energies are uniting right now in order to create this vibrant space full of such beautiful life. A little possum is having a good time. Okie dokie. And I love how the serpent turned up here because that's where your transformation starts. And within this energy of the serpent, all of the zodiac is here to help with this transformation of death and rebirth. And of you seeing what you need to see in order to expand. And it's being illuminated by the moon. And it's like, you know, that snake's not going to come out and bite you anymore. That snake's not going to cause harm. Because we're accepting the dark as part of us. And the light as part of us. And we use the dark as fuel. But it's our shadow selves that are creating the problem. So the moon is illuminating our shadow selves in order for us to heal from them. And that's part of what we're letting go. And the moon wants you to heal and transform. And it's connected to the serpent energy. And in doing so, that connects you to the wheel of flow. And this wheel turns. And you enter anew. And it's connected to the dolphin energy and finding balance of the dolphin energy. So you've created compassion for yourself and self-healing. You're there to be... You're able to be there for others, even other species, without compromising your own health, your own healing. 
and you're also connecting to like-minded people people that have the dolphin energy within them this is pointing you home to your true north this is pointing you home to your true north that's what they're telling me you're going home and you are going home you're on a voyage you're on a voyage right now in the six of swords of moving away from what's lower vibrational for you in order to find balance and we're doing alchemy of the cups we know this because we've been doing alchemy of the cups twin flame alchemy we're understanding that numbers create patterns and frequencies and you know you can even see frequencies create patterns sounds create patterns you're forming a new pattern here. You're forming a new. And it's connected to your healing song and your authentic tune. As you literally on a voyage to move away from what's lower vibrational. And the light is pulling you through. And you're finding balance in the energy of the hanged man. There's balance being achieved here. And this balance is connected to the work you're doing with the cups. And this is connected to the wheel and the wheel turning so this is where your activation will be right in here now balance is achieved because you're healing you're healing with your light in the seven of wands and the two of pentacles is helping you to balance and to create your new patterning and that's where we accept the dark with our light and we use it to transform creation destruction destruction creation yin and yang yang and yin you know and here's the world right here and this is your expansion you've expanded from what's lower vibrational you understand how to use the elements and shape shift and here's your new beginning and you've reconnected to the earth you're not feeling separate anymore you've reconnected to the earth and the energy of the child is present within the fool you understand something that you needed to see and now you're back forth on your spiritual quest with the Knight of Wands and you're back in your element. And this is what's coming together for you within the Zodiac year and starting anew. You're on, you're on, you're, you're following your true north now. You're following it. That's the message from this. And you're manifesting and here it is. Ooh. We have the magician and the tree of life. So now it's like you've activated a new pathway to where you're going. This tree of life is connected to our divine blueprint and how our soul is expanding the pathways that we take in order to have enlightenment and expand with our light. And here literally you're expanding with your light and you're creating a new and you've achieved transformation at this point. You're a master manifester. And you're manifesting here with the Ace of Wands. You've used the feminine energy to create connection. And that was the feminine energy is what connects us to the cups. So we use this cups energy in order to restore connection and flow. Okay, let's see what's being activated here. Yeah, it was from your sorrows. You healed from your sorrows with the five of cups. And you're grounding. You're grounding your light with the king of coins. And this is connected to your abundance because balance was restored. And here's the lovers. The coming together of the masculine and feminine. This is restoring wholeness and feeling love. You're feeling love in this car. You're feeling it. All right, what's being activated here? It's incredible that they were showing me the pathway that the cups was taking you on and then the tree of life came out. I just love it. This means we're on point with our messages. Hmm. Ouch. I swear, this card is making its presence known. Shimmer, glamour, confidence, allure, and charisma. 
This sounds like Leo energy to me. Using your natural shine, your authentic tune, and rock in it. And this now, what's in alignment for you is coming together here. And you know what? I really feel like there's another activation here. There's something more that needs to be said. You've raised your vibration. You're rocking your true self, your authentic shine. You're seeing through the illusions of what you need to see. You've ended separateness. You found true self. Through once was innocent, knowledge means change. And the moon is helping you to receive your knowledge. With crystal magic, creation, dawn, and the beginning. And there it is. You're co-creating. You're in creation now. You've literally connected. And you're manifesting. Dawn is here. The beginning is here. We know you're manifesting with your light. And ooh, this is one heck of a pathway home. So you follow your true north. Your life's purpose. All right, let's get a message. And you know what? We can use crystal magic. I use crystals all the time. I just went to the crystal shop. And I had a really great time. You know, I was feeling so lower vibrational. I was feeling really sick. I was like, ugh. And then I went into the crystal store. And holy, I felt so healed. I felt my energy shift and change. I was so happy. Ooh, okay, bad energy. Let's get a reshuffle here. Fix the energy in these cards. So we can get our message. All right. I'm telling you when spirits ran through me, I don't even know what's happening, guys. But this message is on point with what we've just been discussing. My creative power. I recognize the creative power of my thoughts. I know that I can use them to build or destroy. Today I choose to use my thoughts to create a universe filled with joy and harmony. I will maintain a positive attitude. I have the power to create love and peace. And you do. You have the power to create love and peace. And this is what you're doing with crystal magic. Your knowledge meaning change. And once you were innocent means you're doing purification of the soul. This is connected to the six of cups energy. And the restoration of the masculine and feminine energies on that just primal, innocent, very innocent level. We're just naturally connected. And that's a direct link to the divine. And it started off because of your shimmer. You, you chose to shine. All right, let's see what Kwan Yin has to say. Whoa. Kwan Yin's got a lot to say. We might be here for a little too long. Let's try this again. You know what? That's because they're telling me you need to get you another activation. Another message for the activation. You get my wording right. I really just want to speak telepathically, but that's not how it goes around here. We have to balance. Attaining peace. Today I turn within to find the source of my experiences. There I find the peace that comes from seeking truth. I understand that the riches I discover within myself have a greater value than all the wealth of the outside world. Step by step, I continue my spiritual quest. Little by little, I free myself rising over higher and attaining true inner peace. And that's what you're doing as you're following the North Star home here and you have experience. You have experience. And of all the opposite energies and you're moving forth and you're creating peace. And we know that alone raises our vibration and allows us healing 
All right, Kwan Yin. Look at all the, all the fire energy within this image. Mother Fierce. Mother Fierce is your guardian. Nothing can penetrate the passionate fire of her fearless love. Your safety is assured in the midst, in the midst of any apparent challenge or threat. No matter how frightening it may seem, no matter how insecure you might feel about taking a step on your spiritual path into more power, know that you are safe and you are protected and loved. You are safe, you are protected and loved. Thank you, Kuan Yin. And thank you guys for joining me. Much love and healing vibes sent your way to create with today. See you soon.